And now reapplication strategy number four, crafting an action-packed addendum statement. It's funny. The reapplication strategies one, two, and three were videos that I created before I reapplied to law school in March 2019 until I reapplied in June 2019. And here I am, reapplied, got accepted back in for fall 2019. A couple weeks away from starting the semester again, so I'm creating this video after the fact. But in this, I'm going to give you my tried and true advice in crafting the addendum section, which is the supplemental section in our application, something that we did not do our first go around. But this section is make or break session. It is a deal breaker to me. I think it's probably the most important section of the application. Besides a personal statement, besides the letter of recommendations, this one page statement speaks volumes. Now you probably researched online about how to write law school addendum. And there's actually some pretty good articles out there that tells us about the length and the tone of how to write it. However, just looking at all the different articles, it didn't really have the context of where we are and how we're supposed to write it for being a 1L academically Smith student. It talked about low LSAT scores and I mean, that doesn't apply to us. We're not taking the LSAT again. And if you got rejected the first time, these are all for first time, first year students. They didn't really have anything on it about us. So I had to use my greater intuition, creativity to craft this. And I crafted it, I got accepted. So I'm hoping that this can get your creative juices flowing and that you can use my practical approach to the denim section. Here it is. The question that you need to answer on the addendum section is, what did you do throughout this two year waiting period? And while you're in progress right now, waiting this two year waiting period, what did you do academically? What did you do to take the concrete steps to fix, to rehabilitate, to reprepare, to see law school in an entirely different way. So when you go back to law school, you can use that and show that there won't be no more performance hiccups, that your game is airtight, your performance is airtight, your performance, preparation, I should say, is airtight, where you need to show action, action packed. It's not about explaining your reasons why you got academically dismissed or trying to make this emotional appeal of why you should be accepted back in. No, this is about what did you do? What did you do? You can't bring a, oh, if I were to be back in law school, I would do this, that, and that. No, you can't sell any pipe dreams or wishes. You got to show concrete action. That's why you have to move in this period. You can't just sit around twiddling your thumbs. You got to do something. You got to be in motion, figuring it out, going back to the drawing board, whether it's an independent study that you create, something that I did, or going back to your law school, the academic success, academic support, program, that's a good idea, or getting a degree within this two-year waiting period to keep you busy academically, and you can connect that to law school. Whatever it is, you need to show what is you done in this period to show that you got it. Next go around. Just do that, and I'm telling you, you're going to be solid and golden. I talked about 
my independent study that I created throughout the two year waiting period. Well, it wasn't the whole two years. It was from fall 2017 to spring 2018 to how I simulated my old schedule. I still worked my same schedule during the day and how I kind of just simulated myself back into law school during the evenings when I was taking classes in the evenings. Reworked my course syllabuses, did more hypothetical practice problems, exhaust all problems, and had some oversight from my past professors who pretty much said, okay, all right. And they gave me my letter of recommendations to show that I have what it takes to be and to meet academic rigors of law school. So this addendum section is one page, two paragraphs, single space. That's it. It doesn't need to be long, but it needs to show action. Action in this period of what you are doing. Show that you're gonna be good. I promise you. If you need more help, I got you. Leave a comment below. Reach out to me by email, lawsuitencourager at gmail.com. And I am pumped and more than happy to help you with this. Craft it, action packed, stay in motion. You got this. Let's go.